I am Teresa and I'm here with Dr. Hunsaker. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. He is going to be asking a few questions that we do have and I know that you be asking yourself these questions as well. So the first question is, how do you deal with a patient that has noticeable asymmetry in the breast? You know, most patients do have some degree of asymmetry, but it's usually small. Many times the patients don't even realize it until we point it out to them. But a number of patients will have sometimes remarkable asymmetry, yeah. frankly. It's all about dimensions, which leads to volume. And it's our job when we examine and mark and measure the patient to be able to choose from the available implants to get the right diameter, injection, and volume to best match the other breast. Yes. Now, they're never twins. I often Sometimes we'll tell patients, you know, no, I'm not making you symmetric, I'm making you mm -hmm. less asymmetric. Okay. Now, obviously, my goal is to have completely unnoticeable asymmetry. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's not always achievable because mm -hmm. it's still asymmetric natural breast tissue in front of the implants. Mm -hmm. But we can do quite a good job of making them remarkably more symmetric. Okay. So if you guys have been noticing why you have, for example, 475 and 380 and your breasts, the doctor is simply trying to make them look less asymmetrical, but you know you are beautiful as you are. 